as I said earlier, the steel is going to get expand to a certain length and the aluminum is going to expand to a certain length. So when everything is done, the length expanded by the steel equals the length, the total length expanded by the aluminum. Okay, and then the expanded length of the steel would be the original length of the steel plus the increase in length of the steel and the expanded length of the aluminum would be the original length of the aluminum plus the delta L of the aluminum. Now that much we know, this one here and then just plugging in, this one we know, uh, is that going to lead us to a solution? Well, I actually had to look to, at the solution manual to figure out that, oh yeah, that's the way to do it. So um, I kind of have a head start here that this one indeed will work out and that even though this is kind of interesting. I wrote down an equation here, and I don't know this. I don't know that. I do not know this. I do not know this. I have like four unknowns in here. Um, I basically just know that this one is equal to that one, and that this one here is 0.1% longer than that one. So actually, I have kind of like three variables here. Okay. Well, let's see what what happens next. The I'm going to write this one here down again. L zero steel. And now the delta L for the steel, I'm going to write as alpha steel, and finally that one I do know, times the original length of the steel, times the delta T, and that equals the original length of the aluminum plus the alpha of the aluminum times the original length of the aluminum times delta T. Okay. Okay, let's see where that leads us. On the left hand side I notice that I have the same here, L of the steel, L of the steel, so I'm gonna factor them out. So L O steel times parentheses one as I factor it out, of course a one stays behind, times the alpha steel delta T there we go and then equals and here I do the same thing I can I'm able to factor out the aluminum original length of the aluminum and therefore what stays behind is 1 plus the alpha of the aluminum times delta T okay and now I notice something here here's um, the length of the of the steel and here's the length of the aluminum both factored out so if I get one to the other side I can readily introduce that um, factor here 1.0010 by how much the uh, by, by which amount the steel is longer than the aluminum and then I truly after I did this I truly just have one variable so as I said I kind of I, I, I struggled with this problem when I when I taught it in, in class uh, in, in a regular classroom setting and uh, because it's not intuitive, you know, sure, we know this one here, we know this one, but then with the second step here, introducing kind of like three or four variables, you know, is that going to lead, lead to a solution? And indeed it does, but um, it's not totally intuitive. In any case, I'm going to do the algebra here a little bit more. So I divide this one here, divide by the original length of the aluminum, and therefore I'm going to have one point. 0, 0, 1, 0 introduced instead of the fraction um, of the original length and then here's the same thing and I don't think I can it would be nice if I could just copy that then I don't have to write it all down again let me try that yeah there we go whoops Alright, I think that just took as much time as just doing it. Okay, so I divide by that length of the aluminum and therefore on the left hand side I have that factor 1.0010. Zero, zero, 
one zero. I wonder why my handwriting has never improved, and I apologize for that too, that it hasn't. Okay, and the next step, I'm going to multiply this in here, so I'm going to have 1.001 um, plus 1.001 times the alpha and the delta t, and the right hand st side stays the same, but then I notice that I subtract the 1 from the left hand side, and so that will be a 0 0.0010, so this you multiplied minus that 1, and then on the left on the right hand side, I um, subtract this here, multiply it of course with, with this one here, from this one here. So I'm going to have alpha aluminum minus 1.0010 alpha steel. So notice this one here minus this here multiplied with that 1.001 .001, and then factored out the delta t that's why I didn't write the delta t done yet delta t and now I can just plug in numbers and come up with what the temperature increase should be so for that one I have to look up the coefficients of thermal expansion so I'm gonna have 0 0.0010 divided by parentheses, the alpha for the aluminum is 23 times 10 to negative 6, and then I subtract from that 1.0010 times the aluminum for the steel, which comes out to 12 10 to negative 6, and I come up with 91.008, and looks like we have two significant figures. So 91 Celsius degrees is the result.